Voilà. Today is not going to be the most exciting vlog unless you're excited about bunnies. And who's not excited about bunnies? I thought that seeing I was stuck indoors today, well not stuck, but seeing as I was going to be indoors all day looking after Shiloh and helping him settle in and getting on with boring things like laundry and stuff like that, I thought today's vlog could be a chatty vlog. And I thought what we would chat about is, or what I would chat to you guys about, is kind of, are you interested? Yeah. How I ended up doing this channel, kind of what my thinking is for it, what I'm hoping it will become. Shayla, look, look, fun bunny toys. <gasps> Who's got a bunny toy? <gasps> I've got a bunny toy, well done, good boy. Come on, we're making a video. <gasps> no, not coffee. Hey, there we go. Don't eat my books. Good boy. Hey, poop. Um, where was I? <laughs> uh, it's bunny cam! I'm getting like no footage here because I'm just rambling madly. Not on my things. Those things are not for bunnies. I think what I'm trying to say is I've made this YouTube channel as much for myself as I have for you guys. I want to push myself. Hey! I've got to start saying life and living are not for other people, they're for me too. And even though I've turned 34, that is not old. And I know YouTube's kind of a really young thing and most of the audience is like 16, 17. So it's a bit of a challenge, but kind of anybody, any age can do anything. It's not about how old you are or how much people expect you to be one thing or another. It really winds me up, no. If you want to do it, and you're physically and mentally capable of doing it, do it. I'm so sick of, oh well that's not really, that's a bit inappropriate dear. No, sub that actually. If I want to do it, I'm going to do it. And I'm really annoyed when people don't support you in that. Yeah, okay, if you're 75 and you want to become a skydiver, you should probably insult a doctor first. But. I don't see why anybody should have the right to turn around and say to you, oh, well, no, dear, do not think that's really for somebody else. No, it's not. If you want to do it, you do it because you're going to be the only one on your deathbed sitting there saying, I wish I'd done this or I wish I'd done that. So this is me making a statement that says, I'm going to start living, actually living a life. I feel like I've spent the last 34 years waiting for life to start, haven't I? I did school. I did college, I did university, and then I had kids, and I've spent the whole time going, well, in a couple of years I'll be able to do this, or in a couple of years I'll be able to do that, or once this has happened I can do this, once that's happened I can do that. No, I've done, I've had enough now. Now I'm gonna be me. And not to the detriment of anybody else with any luck, although how I work that one out, I'm not completely sure. But this is what this is about. This is me saying, this is the time, why am I talking to a rabbit ball? This is the time, rabbit ball, that I start having a life. And the idea is, if I can have a life and I can show myself having a life, then hopefully other people might look at me and what I'm doing and say, if she can do that, then why can't I? That's the theory behind it. So every day I say to myself, living is not for other people. No. This is why I was so excited about getting tickets to the Living the Adventure Summit. I have wanted to travel for years, but also because I looked at that first and thought, oh, that'd be amazing, but that's not something I could ever do. And then turned around and told myself off and was like, ah, actually, no, I am gonna go, I am gonna enjoy it, and I am gonna start pushing myself to be more like the person that I want to be and not the person that I've been pigeonholed into being. And I love going abroad, I love seeing new places. My problem is I don't like traveling alone. To me, I enjoy things by going, hey, look at that, that's really cool. So hey, maybe I can do that with you guys. That's probably one of the other reasons I've got into YouTube. 
so I can take you guys with me because I spend a lot of time on my own these days, although I should really have a rabbit, shouldn't I? Shiloh, where'd he go? Did anyone see? Shiloh! Hey, bunny! You gonna come join in? No. Camera shy rabbit, but it's in my head and I'm going to take the three hours in the morning I have between dropping them off and picking Juno up from nursery and use it and really use it and not just to make YouTube videos although I will make YouTube videos because whatever I'm doing I'll do on camera hopefully unless it's cleaning the bathroom you don't need to see cleaning the bathroom so you spend most of the morning not being in the video and then when you do you come and make noise Shiloh yo dude I'm filming hello what you doing why do they make these things so noisy? Noisy bunny. I don't really know what else I have to say, really. I'm ranting a bit, I think. But it kind of annoys me because I feel like I've wasted years. And that's a shame. I'm one of these people that really strongly feels the passing of time. I'm really super aware of days just disappearing. I never forget. I was doing this really crappy job in the civil service, like the lowest of the low kind of organizing the paperclip type job and it was at my mum's office and it was only a temporary thing and I remember one day I'd worked in one department and they trained me how to do a particular thing like search for something on the system and so I'd learned to do that in this one department and then the next day I went uh, they put me in a different department and I went down there they sat at these desks with these horrible computers that kind of screen that was like black and green, awful, awful. How to go blind really fast. You use those computers, they're just gross. They'd given this big pile of forms that people had filled in and sent in to us. And literally the only instruction we got was fill in as much of these forms as possible. So anybody with a brain, whoa, not my coffee, dude. Anyone with a brain would have said, if the postcode, are you filming? If the postcode wasn't on the form, I'd been taught how to search for it. So I searched for it and I whacked it on the form. And I'll never forget at the end of the day, I took my work up for checking and got shouted at for filling in the postcodes. They were like, where did you get these postcodes from? I went, I searched for them. And the guy was like, who told you to do that? I said, well, I thought it made sense. I'd been trained how to do it. They weren't there. You asked for all the information. So I put it on the form. And his exact words were, you're not here to think. We're not paying you to think. Huh? We're not paying you to think. That, in my opinion, is an example of breathless twattery. Breathless twattery. When someone does something so unbelievably knobbish that your only response is... Like there's not even any air there. That actually literally physically takes your breath away. Just, ah. Oh. And at that point, I just looked at this bloke and thought there is no way on God's earth I am spending one atom more of my life in your presence. I mean, obviously it wasn't his fault. I don't blame the guy himself. It's the institution, but still, seriously, you're not paid to think. So I went back to mum and said, I'm quitting. I'm not staying, that is, no. And her exact words were, oh, it'll only be for a year, just get on with it. A year, a year, a year. Say you live till, I don't know, 80. That's one 80th of your entire life. It's a difficult subject, generally, living. It's a weird one because it's like the one thing that we all are forced to do day in, day out and a lot of people don't have much of a choice as to how they spend it. And yet really it's all there is. All we're doing is living, aren't we? Some people say all we're doing is slowly dying, but I'd rather go for the positive version. <laughs> but other than actually simply living, breathing, existing, day in, day out, what are you doing? None of the rest of it's actually substantial. Keeping yourself alive and I was going to say entertained, that's not kind of what I mean, but basically functioning day in, day out. That's all we do really, isn't it? If you think about it. 
if you're not using that time to do something that makes you feel good, whether that's the outcome of what you do or whether that's what you're actually doing, then what is the, what's the point really? But I'm really thinking about this kind of stuff and I think I'm having a bit of a midlife crisis if I'm honest. Oh, washing's done. I just kind of wanted to close off this video. I feel like it's been a lot of me talking and not a whole lot of structure, but I feel like what I'm trying to say is actually really quite important to me. If this channel had a mission statement, I guess what it would be is to prove or to show others what I'm trying to prove and show to myself, which is that life is for you as well. Your life is for you as well as other people. Yes, you can take care of other people. Yes, you can think about others. You can use your life to help and encourage other people. You can use your life for all sorts of good things. And it's not about being selfish, but it is about living your life. Living is not for other people. Living is for you too. And if you don't have that in your head, as I haven't had it in my head for a very long time, then you miss so much. You forget to try for things. You forget to say, I could do that. Why don't I do that? And instead you go, oh, that's not for me. Or, oh, that would be so nice, but, and that's no way to go through life. And if everybody just took that idea of living is not for other people and embraced their own lives a little bit more, everybody would probably be better for it. Can you hear the rabbit? I've put his collar on him. It's me trying to make a serious point and I've got a jingling rabbit in the background. Shiloh! I hope that this long ramble of a video A hasn't put you off subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm really aiming on getting 100 subscribers by the end of October. I mean, obviously I'd like a lot more than that, but I really want that 100. It's, it's like a real major goal for me, my first 100 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up if you've understood any of this ramble. Leave me a comment below if you kind of get where I'm coming from or if you've got your own example of breathless twattery, anything you like. I'm fascinated to read comments. I'll reply to any comment that you leave. Yeah, and I'll go out and do something tomorrow. If the weather's nice, I'm gonna try and get out on the skateboard. I can't work out how to film that, but I'm sure I'll work it out. So I'll go. Um, get on with the laundry and get on with editing so that you've actually got a vlog to watch and I'll see you all then take care and remember living is not for other people bye by the way mum you left your t-shirt here I'm borrowing it hope that's okay you can have it back at Christmas thanks